Well, thanks for coming and supporting women's hockey. Um, you know, it was. Oh, here they are. Welcome, ladies. Sorry. I mean, doing this at this point actually sucks, right? We all know that. But at the same time, you got to be a sportsman and be here, and it's 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 tough. It's tough for them to be up here, but everybody has to do it when it's their turn. So, um, my thoughts are. Um, you know, Minnesota is a very, very, very good hockey team, and so are we, and we knew it was going to be a back and forth game. Um, I thought our team played very well in the first period. Um, I thought we hemmed them in a little bit, and um, but when they unleashed, they had really sc big scoring opportunities uh, because they have that offensive threat. Um, but I think in the second period, having a five minute major that um, hurt our momentum, even though I think it was a brilliant penalty kill. You have to understand if you played hockey, even after you kill that, you don't recover very well. <laughs> and um, that, that hurt, and I think that lost our momentum. Um, you know, I think someone said in the fan forum that they, uh, we remind them of Michael Myers is we just won't stay dead. And I thought that was really funny and very true. When we got that first goal, it was 2-1. And I thought that that would be our push. And uh, unfortunately, we, we screened Teeley on the third one. And um, they, kept their, they kept the lead. And um, it was hard to take it back from them. They started to play very well uh, defensively and selling out and blocking shots. But I think that that's what you're going to expect between uh, number one and number two in the country. It's not going to be a sweep all the time. You're, it's very unreal, unrealistic if you think that. Um, so um, I just hope that, you know, um, we end up um, learning from this and, and we always say don't let others dictate your future and grow from this and remember how it feels and make sure that doesn't happen again. Any questions for the student athletes? Gabby, can you take us through your goal? You see McKenna <laughs> making that push to the net. Just follow along, I guess. Uh, yeah, McKenna's obviously a great player and I know when she has the puck, it's going to be a great uh, scoring chance. So when I saw she had that mini breakaway, I just thought I would get to the net because I knew if she wasn't scoring, there might be a rebound there. Um, a great save by the goaltender. So um, I just so happened to be there for that rebound. So I'm glad to get it in. Amanda, for you in this game, having a lot more shots than you usually get, uh, talk to me about that challenge that you had today. Um, you know, I kind of like getting more shots just because you're more engaged in the game, but I thought our team did really well in front of me, blocking a lot of shots. They could have had a lot more, but, I mean, they just scored when they got the opportunity, so... Uh, Coach Roserell, in, in the past, how if you have a loss, how do you have your, your kids bounce back? Well, I mean, it's not their first loss, so they know how to deal with it. It just stings a little more because of the environment and the climate that you're in right now. And, you know, hockey is the longest continuous sport in college athletics, and so we've had some losses, and it won't be the last time, hopefully not this year. But, um, but uh, the speech after the game was, again, not letting others dictate your future. And... Um, you have to continue to play elite and not take any shifts off. Um, and I think that we we did that in the second period. And, um, you know, they're, they're adults. We have a lot of leadership on this team. And um, you're going to lose games to a number two team in the country. That's going to happen. But, um, you know, they, they handle it, you know, well, considering. Um, but we'll find out, I guess, next weekend. For, for either of the players, just... How much does this sting? You know, you, you you've got a banner already. You were looking to get a second one today. There's still a, a big one out there. Just to, can you kind of put this in context? Yeah, I mean, great question. I think obviously it stings a lot. We that was one of our goals is to get that championship. But something great is that we have a next game, and I think that will definitely fuel our fire and get us ready for those games to come. You know, we are a great team, and if we bring our best game for the full 60 minutes, I think we're unstoppable. And I think. We're going to bring that into the next weekend and just keep feeling the fire because um, we're ready. Gabby, for you as a leader of this team in your fifth year, how does the leadership of this team try and turn the page into next weekend? 
Yeah, I think something great about our team is our leadership. We have a very fantastic group of girls, um, older group of girls, um, fifth years, seniors, Emma coming back. Um, and I think that definitely helps everyone on our team, you know, lifting everyone up. And everyone on our team plays a huge role. And I think even if it's a freshman or a senior, we all have a leadership role. And that's what I think makes us so great. Um, so, but I think... Um, it'll help us moving forward, definitely. Gabby, you draw back on last year's title run in situations like this? Um, I mean, obviously having that experience for a lot of the girls is great because we know what it takes, but and just really feeling that fire into the younger girls, and they know what it takes too. So we definitely bring that in practice every day, just that relentless hard work um, into every drill we do, and that carries forward into our game. So um, just taking it one game at a time, uh, in playoffs here, so we're excited, and that's our goal this one game at a time. Amanda, how have you sort of like last year at this time? It felt like everything was going very well for you, like you, and obviously it's been a, a different experience this year. So how have you like prepared for this? And like obviously you played an amazing game tonight. So how do you kind of like put past any what had happened in the past few weeks and, and really be prepared here? Um, for me, my dad always said it's water under the bridge. Learn from it. So. If a goal goes in, can't change it. Just move on, save that next shot. So next game, one shot at a time, and then win the game. What's it like to play against Abby Murphy? Seems like she'd be a, a frustrating player to have in, on the other team. Um, yeah, I, I, I would say that. Um, you know, anytime we play a great team, I think it gets physical, especially the type of game we play. We're a physical team. Um, so we're going to play physical no matter what. So, you know, we just go out there and give it our best effort. So, Coach Wizzerall, it seemed like in the first period you guys were doing a, just a great job of managing the game and, and blocking shots and intercepting passing lanes. It seemed like in the third period the Gophers switched tape, turned tables and were doing the same thing to you. How do you address that? Well, that's what I was saying earlier. I think we lost our momentum in the second period and we struggled to get that back. I think uh, we only got it back when we realized it was desperate and we lost that uh, momentum. I mean, it was difficult. The table set here for Minnesota. They got the crowd. They got the band. They, um, you know, it, it's a it's a good environment and um, for for them. And, and they put on a great tournament too, right? So. Um, I think that for us, though, you, it, that is what it is. They can't make excuses. I mean, we won it last year in this environment, too, and came back. But, hey, it, it, again, it's hockey. It's going to happen. It's a game of transition. I'm not going to dwell on it and beat them up for it. You know, they, they feel it. So what we're going to do is we're going to, again, let it sting and burn, and then we reset, enjoy the selection show as the number one seed, and then we're going to go and be um, ready come Monday. That's all you can do, really. Every year is different, obviously, but you're down by two going into the third period in this building, in this game. Did you think, hey, got him right where we want him after last <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, we were down, I told them, 4 nothing against Wisconsin in their hostile environment, and we found a way to come back and tie it. So, again, it's not over till it's over. But, yeah, you know, I would like the lead once in a while. That would be nice, too. <laughs> <laughs> Any more for the student athletes? Thanks, ladies. Good luck to the thank NCAA. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions from us? Well, what exploits nation did you get on the uh, the Gophers' first goal with with the goalie interference challenge? He pretty much just said, "I didn't see that." <laughs> um, he sighed. What he saw really was um, both the players in in the crease and in wrestling, um, and. Um, for me, I, t I, I challenged it because I thought it was questionable. But at the end of the day, if we didn't have three media timeouts, I wouldn't have done it. But knowing that we had the three media timeouts, I knew that we would have opportunities to continue to talk to the players. But then at the end of the day, when you do that, you know, you, you're telling your team you got their back and you're going to challenge it and question it. Any more from Wazzy? Thanks, Coach. Good luck this week. Thank you, guys.